Hey, how's it going? Welcome to chapter 17 in the 5-Minute Guitar video series, my totally free online beginner guitar system. What we're gonna talk about is a really important technique that goes together like peanut butter and jam, which is power chords and palm muting. Okay, so we're gonna talk about palm muting, how to do it, and just how to get that awesome palm muted sound. So, let's get in the lesson. My name is Will Ripley, and this is Campfire Guitar Star. What I'm gonna show you next is a really important guitar technique called palm muting, okay? So what that is, is we're gonna mute the strings with our palm. It's really self-explanatory, but it's a little tricky to get, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then if we palm mute it, but there's something kind of cool and, and muffly and bassy and full and, and just kind of like badass sound in the boat. Palm muted. So here's the deal. We've talked a lot about our right hand being planted on the bridge. And that totally helps us do the palm muting. All you're going to do is you're going to use this section of your hand, even like the bit of your thumb pillow, to move forward on the strings, okay? So what you need to do is find a sweet spot. So say if I, if I grab a power chord here, I'm playing a power chord on the 10th fret. And as I get that bassy, muffly, palm muted sound, what I would do is I'd move my hand forward, and I'd keep on moving it forward. And I keep on moving it forward. Okay, that's too much, right? I can't even hear the chord anymore. So I gotta move it back. Until I find the sweet spot. So I'm kind of using the edge of my hand all the way around here. And so it really depends on, on the person and and also how low your guitar is. If your guitar is low, it's much easier to use this section of your hand. That's gonna be a lot more common, but if your guitar is higher, it's gonna be a little bit better to use your, uh, your thumb pillow here. So that's the rundown of palm muting. Uh, again, you see that all over the place and it really has a unique sound to it. It is a really important guitar technique. So let's move on to the next thing. What I want you to do is I want you to play a power chord on the first fret of your E string. Go ahead and do that for me. See if you can beat me to it. Yeah, so hopefully you, you nailed that. So that's what a power chord looks like on the first fret of your E string. Now, what if we were to move this down? And by the way, when we're talking down, we're, we're referring to this direction because of the sound. Right, that's going down. And when we move this direction, let's move going up, right? So how do we take this power chord down by one fret? So if you're stumped, it is kind of a weird, a weird question. But when you think about it, this is what it would look like. We just, you know, just like say if I asked you to move it up, we'd go like that. And if we moved it down, move it like that. Well, I just want you to move it down one more fret. So it'd be like that. Now, this finger is basically serving no purpose anymore, but it would still sound like this. Okay? Get a nice full sound out of that. Now, since this finger's not doing anything and it's kind of weird playing that with your third finger, I would suggest playing that with your first finger. Now, your root note in this case, hopefully you know what note that is by now, and that's your E string. So your root note is E, therefore, this is going to be an E power chord. And the technical term is an E5 chord. Okay? And then, now same thing. Let's, let's do the example on the 
A string. So play me a first fret power chord on the A string. And hopefully you nailed that for me. Now, same exact thing. If we were to move this down, boom. Unnecessary to play your finger there. So let's replace your third finger with your first finger. All right. And now let's do the exact same thing on the D string. Okay, so play me a D string first fret power chord, guys. Okay, so now same thing. Slide it down one fret. Now D is your root note. We're gonna replace that third finger with your first finger. And there you have a D5 chord, AKA a D power chord. Hey, I hope you got something out of today's lesson and get your fingers moving on something new and something cool that helped you with your guitar playing. Now moving forward, I've got this entire guitar system called Five Minute Guitar and it's valued at a hundred bucks. I wanna get it to you for free. What this is, is it's a step-by-step -step beginner guitar system that takes the total, utmost, absolute beginner all the way through like strumming chords, bar chords, single note riffs, playing rock and roll techniques, um, learning all the must-know scales, and just playing awesome, cool, classic songs. And just getting all those skills together so that you can like play this thing. And guitar, it can be really difficult, especially getting some of those basics down, um, especially strumming chords and switching between chords smoothly. So I wanna get you access to this system and it's really powerful and I know you're gonna get a ton out of it. And again, totally on the house and totally for free. All you have to do is follow the directions on this video screen. There should be a link somewhere that you can click. I'll take you over to campfireguitarstar.com. Also make sure that there's a link in the description below. All you have to do, meet me over there. I'll get you access to everything. And it's as simple as that. In the meantime, subscribe to this YouTube channel and leave a comment below. And we'll take care of you, man. We'll get you ripping on this guitar thing and getting you playing all your favorite songs and styles. So until the next video, keep on ripping it up. Check you later.